Okay, this is a lesson um, 48, the new concept. So we were talking about horizontal, vertical, and oblique lines. And we went through the alphabet here to see which letters were, um, had those features. So, but the first thing we did is we crossed out any letter that had no straight lines, like C, O, U. All right, now we're going to go through and use a crayon or color pencils or something for green. I used green for horizontal. And I'm going to trace all horizontal lines. Anywhere in a letter. Hold on one second and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so those are all horizontal letters with horizontal lines. So then I'm going to write those letters in the horizontal box down here. So there's A, E, F, H, I, J, oh, I forgot L. L, uh, a T, and Z. Okay, so those all had horizontal lines. Now let's go through and highlight vertical lines. They have to be straight up and down. All right, so those are the ones that had the vertical. So now I'm going to write those in my vertical box. So that would be, oh, I forgot B. There we go. Oh, and E and F. Wow, I forgot a lot. Oh, okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, so we're gonna write B, D, E, F, H, I, K, L, M, N, P, R, T, and Y. Oh, why did I just make a Z? I said Y and wrote a Z. Okay, there we go. So there's a lot with the vertical. All right, now let's do the oblique with pink or whatever color you want, but just make them all this. So oblique are slanted lines. A, K, M, N, R, Q, V, W, has a lot, hmm. X, and Y, and Z. Okay, so those are all the ones with oblique. So let's write those down. A, K, M, N, Q, R, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay. So the rest, oh, we forgot G. G had a horizontal, didn't it? Do, 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 that should be green. Oh, how did I miss that little tongue there on the G? See that little G? Okay, so let me add that here. Everything else is curvy. So I'm just going to X out those parts of those letters. I can't believe I didn't X out S to begin with. It was a total curve. Okay, so I should have X out to begin with C, O, U, and S. And now I know I can also X out, you know, parts of the B, right, the bumps, part of the D, the J, part of the G, part of the P. I'll keep an eye on this is Kindle, huh? 
USQ. I think that's it. Okay. So which one had the most? Okay. So horizontal, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with horizontals. Vertical had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And oblique had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Okay, so vertical had the most, then oblique, surprisingly, and then horizontal. So that's what that paper was all about. It was just identifying horizontal, vertical, and oblique lines and comparing the letters. It's kind of fun. Bye bye.